like, bro. She got, she got a kid. Look at his back. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction. This is Theo Vaughn, Theo's Magic Set after Joey Diaz. Uh, yeah, I scrolled through the comments a bit before I watched this, and apparently he took some mushrooms before he got on stage, which is insane, because the longer you're on mushrooms, the crazier it gets for you. And the fact that you're even able to build coherent sentences and jokes for the crowd and be able to deliver, and them not get mad at you because you're up there just pretty much going to be talking about nonsense because you're not going to be able to pinpoint pretty much ideas for a long period of time before you start straying off on a different topic. But I don't know. This is Theo Vaughn, man. You know, his mind works differently. So maybe all those crazy thoughts that he's just spewing anyways are kind of all just flow out and this kind of works for him. But he knows, man. Uh, hopefully he's not too cringe because I don't want to stop it because I can't deal with cringe shit, man. I just, that's like my weakness. That's my kryptonite. can't. I don't know, man. We're going to see what you got going on. Let us know if you want to see more Theo Vaughn down in the comments. Let us know what other comedians you'd like to see. Make sure you go check out our other channels, the 412 show. It would be gaming. Go on, we're done. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Hannah, huh? I'd hit it probably, huh? <laughs> Man, he's fucking done. He's I'd done. I'd hit it, dog, you know? <laughs> Man, seemed like trouble. I'd fucking. I'm yours, Hannah. Um, I ate some mushrooms, dude, so... <laughs> Fucking, there's your gardener right there, son. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna use, do my <laughs> usual set because... I don't fucking know what it is. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sit up here under these lights because... They're warm. Yeah, he's tripping balls. Like, that's how fucked up I am, man. They are warm. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Uh, lady in the front dip. She's like, yeah, I'm not dealing with this. Yeah, man. Like, uh, uh, yeah, he's fucked up, man. What else? There's no way I would do that and be a boss. There's no way. Uh, There's no way. I'm voting for Donald Trump, man. I'm trying to eat the piano. I'm going to look at Hillary's fucking face for four years. Sorry. She just looks like a liar to me. I just look at her face and she looks like a liar. At least I would like her to say, I'm lying. <laughs> at least Trump is like, I'm fucking lying. You're like, oh, good. All right, cool, <laughs> man. I'll follow this fucking blatant liar. Rather than somebody playing lie and go seek, man. You know? Lie and go seek. <laughs> And I'm in the 1%, man. I make great money. I just fucking... I already feel bad driving past poor people. I don't want to feel twice as bad in eight years, you know? Because it's only going to get fucking better for me. <laughs> to be honest. And I feel like at least with Trump, we'll fucking... Maybe we go to war, dog. Bring it on, son. Y'all like Game of Thrones, bruh. But you know what I'm saying? You like it in the sheets. What about in the streets, dog? You know what I'm saying? When your neighbor's getting all Lannister, let's see what's really up. See who the fuck you are in your fucking townhouse. <laughs> yeah, I'm voting for Trump, dude. I like video games. Yeah, he's fucking am, dying over there falling asleep and shit. For fucking boredom. Eight years of just living my comfortable fucking life. Owning property and fucking just eating whatever I want. Oh, I'm kind of cringe, man. Well, no. Man, I'm sick of that, honestly. I'm ready to get fucking gunned up, son. I'm ready for a couple of fucking brothers to move in. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn up. Let's let Nairobi in, dog. Nairobi? Yeah. I'm ready to get hit by an arrow while I'm drinking coffee. That was some chick from Avatar or something? What the fuck? One tribal warrior shows up, dude. You'd be on your knees asking for God's help that you tweeted a half hour ago that you don't even believe in anymore. <laughs> fuck that shit, man. I'm also high as fuck. Yeah, I'm chicks in the front row, dude. He was talking. But Blonde one was like, yeah, I'm getting out of here. I don't even fucking know, dude. 
Yeah, you're fucked, bro. Coffee out. Oh fuck! This must be a comedy show, dude. I forgot. I just always get mad about everybody just making fun of Trump. It's just the easiest. It's like we get, not not y'all. I mean, John does great impersonations. He's fucking superstars. Every day, it's just so many comedians. Trump, fuck Trump. I know we get it, dog. You don't like him, dude. Move on to the next thing. You know. Anyway, man, these gays though, bro. Oh shit. Now that is an issue, son. We need to fucking build a wall around West Hollywood, dog. Oh shit. Cause these motherfuckers <laughs> oh, are getting vibrant. <laughs> Gay dudes, they want you to accept everybody unless you're fucking straight, dude. They look at you like you're just an asshole, man. They do, part of, man. Part of the patriarchy. Jesus, bro. They are so unaccepting, I feel like. Gay yeah, dude's unacceptable as fuck, man. This dude, I did this shitty project the other day with this dude, and he's trying to fuck me on a text message, man. I'm like, dude, this shit is... You pay me twelve fifty for a date, I ain't fucking at that rate, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing butt kegels, but that's for a movie, son. <laughs> you know? So, whatever, man. Uh... What were we talking about? Oh, these gays, dog. <laughs> They're getting wild. They're getting wild, man. This dude came up to me the other day, had all this shit in the Easter baskets, bro. What the fuck, dude? You could be gay, dude, but you ain't Dorothy. You know what I'm saying, bro? Get your life together, Judy Garland. You know what I'm saying? Get a GPS and put yourself in there, okay? Because you are lost, dude. He had all this stuff in the Easter baskets. His money and his phone and everything in an Easter basket. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Why would we carry that around? <laughs> it's just like a random thing to have. Like, come on, bro. You pass gay. You want some space cock, daddy bear. You want some fucking space cock. You done. fucking animal. <laughs> you know? If they got some super gays, man, if you keep driving down Santa Monica... You end up in fucking Candyland down there, bro. Bunch of adventure bears out there blowing each other off, jerking each other out behind a donut shop, drying each other up. You know what I'm saying? Fucking emptying nut sacks out there behind a the fucking Chevron. Jesus Christ, man. You know what I'm talking about? Ugh. Fucking laugh or <laughs> don't laugh. Hell? Don't laugh with a fucking hand in your mouth, son. Let your fucking voice out. Ha <laughs> ha! He was like, <laughs> it's okay to laugh, man. You're good. That's just God shaking you and making a sound with you at the same time. It's beautiful. But yeah, these gays, bro, you hit that Chevron, Jeez. dude. You, you, you could even be with your girl, man. Like, damn. They just have a look in their eyes like they are sucking some really good dick back there, you know? Just looks electric. The advertising alone in the crackhead's eyes out front is worth a lot of money, man, because he's really just setting it off. Like, they sucking dick out here. Like the Jungle Book is back in his eyes, man. Like that's where they filmed the Jungle Book, but for sucking dick. Whose drink is this, man? Is that water? This isn't water, huh? Mmm, that's, it isn't, it smells negative. Uh, it does, man. Smells negative at all. Yeah, he's like, so, he's like zoning out. in and out. <laughs> you can tell those moments where he's like, oh, about, shit. Oh, these fucking gays are out there, bro. You think I forgot? Look at you trying to look happy and enjoyable, you know? Trying to make me forget about these gays. With your heterosexuality. These gays is out there, dude. Yeah, Jesus Christ, man! I don't know how the hell he was able to, even able to. I don't know how the hell he was even able to go up on stage and comprehend what he was talking about on shrooms in front of a whole group of people. You got all those lights beaming down on you, man. Just the fact that he was even able to, you know, keep jokes, certain jokes going on, and talk and stay on topic and stuff. It kind of just just atones to the fact that he's like a very good comedian, you know, that he, he kind of have his craft.
down pack, you know what I'm saying? But uh, there's no way that I will even go up on stage or even consider doing any type of drug before I even went up on stage. Maybe a cigarette. I don't know. I stopped doing those a long time ago, but, you know, maybe a cigarette might be the only thing I would consider doing before I went on stage or anything like that because I don't want any mind-altering things because once I, like, get high enough to a point, if I'm thinking about a certain thing, and I can be talking about it, talking about it, talking about it, going on a, a tangent, and then boom, just forget out of nowhere, then I can't, I can't find, I can't pinpoint where I left off. It's like, oh, damn, what else? Yeah, I'm not gonna ramble. Let us know. You wanna see more Theo Vaughn in the comments? He's hilarious. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you go check out the 4 and 2 show and LB Gaming. We'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.